Alrighty, Femi Films, take that love vitamin. Let's take a look and let's do a message on like high-level soulmates or twin flames, your divine counterpart. Let's take a look on the person you have a true, authentic, spiritual connection with or relationship. I'll let you put the title to what it is. If it's your twin, if it's your soulmate, high-level soulmate, or your divine counterpart. So take your love vitamin and thank you for your love and support. Fem, I am available for personal readings. I will do my best to link the information in the description box. All right, let's get a message from or about this person. Let's get a message from or about this person. Let's get a message from or about this person, Holy Spirit. complicated it's complicated complicated love it means that you know you all have obstacles or you all have things that are opposing this connection then pulling it together new love interest some of you all you just would benefit on embracing a new love interest whether it's seasonal you know it's, or, or whether it's temporary or permanent all right let's see what else here friends with benefits some of you all, this, nah, I don't know why. I feel like a, some of you all, you're the person, your person of interest, your person, let's just say your person slash potential person. This is a person that feels like, you know, it's complicated. We may not be able to have the fairy tale, but let's be friends and let's benefit each other. Some of you all, it may not be a sexual friends with benefits. It's a person that may hope or wish that you will work with them to maybe accomplish love but something here has an accommodation component to it like i love you i'm in love with you unfortunately blah 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 it's complicated others of you all just go ahead and get somebody new if you notice this is your energy over here go on with something new now what you need to know is divine masculine is trying to get your attention and getting signs from the divine. This person is seeking a union. I feel like for those of you all, your divine masculine, your twin flame, this person wants a friends with benefit, but it may not be sexual. It's like, you gotta help me help us if you're willing to do that. I'm not telling nobody what to do. You're grown as hell, make your own choice, okay? Before, well, I forgot, my bad, y'all, excuse me. Cause these comments won't be open. I said it just not for those, you know, those lying commenters. Okay, so let's see. See, something is definitely meant to be. This is your spiritual spouse. Many of you all, you have a spirit husband that is speaking to you and speaking through the cards to you. All right, let's see. So let, let's, let's just pull from the friends with benefits. Those of you all, you know you're into something new. You're going to embrace someone new. I'll look at that as well. But let's look at the friends with benefit. what this person wants. What you need to know about this. Ooh. Oh, oh, that mercy, Father. See here, the three of swords and the five of cups. Now they crying. You got to cry, baby, on your hand. And this is a person that's truly disappointed, hurt, dealing with some heartache. And that's what this person, you need to understand about this person. This person is not healed. They're not whole. And this is somebody who you're going to have to work with them. Somebody who could have major trust issues. They could have, you know, a lot of thoughts towards relationship, dating, getting married, life partner, companionship. Something here could, these type of connections could really overload your person. It's not you. It's this person. They are the crybaby. Yes, but they are also the person that's not ready as much as you would need, want, or desire them to be. They have a plan. They intend to do something. And they got a heck of a plan. <clears throat> now, some of you all, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going we to keep this simple for time purposes. This is a person that some of you all, you know they're sneaking. You know they have, you know, some sort of component to why they cannot be with you. They plan on making a move, but it's the way they're going to have to make this move. It's almost like you're going to have to understand this is the way it has to be right now in this season. Or you may have to go on to someone else new, realistically. No BS. Now, let's see. Let's see what the Five of Swords is. What's this plan here? What's this energy from the Five of Swords and the Two of Wands? God, darn, they got a lot, honey. Hey, God. I'm dying. This person's trying to fight to get you in their life and to, and to hold on to your energy. 
to th this person is fighting for this love fighting for this connection they really have a lot of thoughts towards it some of you all it really stresses them out overwhelms them mentally the ace of swords this could also be some of you all here they do they now somebody here is desiring to make love to you to have sex with you they're very frustrated i feel a very frustrated energy from a person who could be backed up not having sex not making love to the person they desire to make love with period Others of you all, this person is trying to say, you know, I'm fighting. I I feel like I'm drowning because I'm afraid. I'm hurt. I don't know if this is going to hurt me. I'm not aware of this. I'm not as versed in this as you are. The Six of Wands, <clears throat> the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Now, this is somebody here, whether you want to know it or not. They're going to take small steps, baby steps. It's only going to be in the baby's, baby phases because they don't want to put too much on their plate to overwhelm them. The, the connection could be overwhelming. You know, if you are actually already interacting, I can tell that is overwhelming because you all could be arguing, fighting. There are some things that you all are going to have to prioritize. <clears throat> For this right here is simply saying, are we going to meet? are we going to meet in the middle? and help each other or are we going to keep it complicated this person is willing to fight for this connection but you got to work with them this is also a person that's saying they don't feel like you have given them much wiggle room you're not just like you're not open to what their suggestions are i hear recommendations what their recommendations are and they're trying it's like a person is trying to explain to you it doesn't have to be as hard as it is uh oh but they, they're saying, you made this complicated just as much as they have. It's not just them. And they've been thinking, it's like it's like every every solution they come up with, or every, you know, every everything they come up with, you shoot them down. You're argumentative. You're like, no. <clears throat> it's like the way they try to fight for this love or fight for this connection is not good enough for you. Some of y'all this person feels like you don't, you're not appreciative. You're not appreciative and inconsiderate. They feel like you're inconsiderate of their life, their emotions, their thought, their heart space. You may think a person doesn't care, but this person is not versed in spiritual connections, uh, knowledgeable. They're, they're, they're not. This, your, your, your person is trying to get your attention, as a card said, to give you a realization. I want to fight for this love. I want to build this love. I want to move things forward. But you got to help me. Um, Let me close this out here. Let me keep this message real simple. All right. Now, some of y'all, this person here, they, they, they do. They want to start something fresh, something brand new. What's the Ace of Wands? I want to see the eight of wands what would it take for us to walk towards each other versus walking away that's what your spirit husband is saying and this is somebody here that does feel somebody here feels like you have abandoned them abandoned them left them alone um i'm even hearing that term left out in the cold you left them hanging they somebody feel like you didn't cut them off or like you left them like you almost said f them give me more from the will of fortune Mm -hmm. the knight of um cups and the nine of wands i told you so it's, it's it's your person your dm is hurt they're broken down you know they could be as they say damaged good working on themselves but this is this is going to be a process it's a process to this it's their own individual process but they would love to process life with you and fight with you excuse me and fight for you but not fight with you there's a fight here um i don't think you all understand each other the way you think or they think or the way y'all should because it the, the complication doesn't have to be this complicated one person is saying we should do this another person is saying we should do that y'all are not on one accord y'all are not re you are not doing things that are reasonable or uh like make it make sense for each other Okay, so we're gonna leave that there because I got, remember I gotta keep these messages short. I'm gonna pull for the new person, the new soulmate, the new oh good yeah, definitely something new. Go ahead, don't hold back, start it. It's gonna you're gonna have to take a chance. You're gonna have to take a chance, and it won't be as bad as what you think or what you thought. You gotta take a chance. There is someone new in somebody's energy. 
the four of cups um i hear that word pouting stop pouting it's like stop pouting stop complaining either do it or close your mouth you cannot be scared. You cannot allow this to overwhelm you. It's like the person here that has this new person. I feel like for the new energy here, for those of you all that are there, you feel like something is going to fail. It's not going to work out. Don't set your mind that way. You're going to have to set your mind on, you know, I'm willing to try. I'm willing to work on something. And I'm just simply willing to take this chance. There's no other way around it. Twin flames, high-level soulmates, divine counterparts. You may not trust this person and they contributed to that, but they also feel like you have given them a reason not to trust you as well. This is going to be two people being willing to put a guard down or compromise at the place of trust, trust and hurt to have anything else. If not, it ain't going no damn well. I'm, about to, I'm not going to be in your life. Either you're going to do it, you're going to trust each other, or you're not. Both of y'all could have been lying about some stuff, or both of y'all could have done some shicey things, some shady things, or said some shicey things. Somebody here, there's been some hurtful things that have been done, and somebody here is not over it. Your spiritual spouse is definitely in a place of, like, I hear agony and pain. It could be emotional agony and pain, mental agony and pain. I see a lot of frustration on this side. So you know if this is you, really, and you know if this is your person over here. But one of y'all are pain. You know, yeah. And one of y'all frustrated. All right, let's close this out. Yep, ask for help. One of y'all, one of y'all got to humble y'all selves and ask for help. Wait for the winter. It's going to be a wait. A delay is not a deny. That's when it's going to happen or when it'll be easier. Pure intentions. Your person has pure intentions, but it's, it could be because they've lied so much. Lied so much. Played mind games. There could have been some manipulation, gaslighting. But this is a journey that's, that could be experienced, providing that both you all do your part. Deal with the hurt and the pain and deal with the frustration. All right, let's close this out. Let's see what Zodiac signs are here for your twin flames, soul, high-level soulmates. Divine counterpart. You have Aquarius, Cancer, uh, Aries, Capricorn, and Taurus. Peace and blessing, great day. I hope this helps. Namaste.